Hi, I'm Belinda Cowley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and I get asked a lot about equipment. Now, of course, we have our general equipment video, which you're welcome to watch, which has an overview of beginners through to advanced mixing and measuring equipment. But then I get asked additional questions like incubators for stability. So I'm gonna show you the incubators we have here and also give you some recommendations. Now when it comes to equipment, please don't ask me to recommend a supplier because it's going to differ everywhere in the world. I'm gonna go through some of the key features that I look for in equipment um, that you should also look for. Now when it comes to incubators, you do need to speak to a lab supplier. They aren't a big investment compared to testing your own stability, for example. So you can use incubators to test stability of your products very effectively. And at the end of the day, you get yourself some good incubators. You're gonna have them for years and you're gonna be able to conduct your own stability. So you'll save a lot in the long run by getting some incubators and they're not a huge investment. So I'll show you the incubators I have here and talk you through some of the key features. This top incubator, they're both Contherm incubators. Now I've picked this size because we conduct stability testing for companies. So we do have times where we do have a lot of samples in there. We also have times where they're not that full. Uh, this one here, as you can see from the size of me, it's, it's bigger, it's about twice the size of a normal microwave. You can get this sort of incubator about the size of a microwave, which for small brands would be plenty big enough for most of your stability testing needs. Um, this one is set to 55 degrees. Now we do our short term testing at 55 degrees. Uh, the other thing we test for is hardness and melting of any lipsticks or lip balm. So that 55 degrees is a really good test point for short term uh, very high temperature accelerated stability testing and it's also great to test if lipsticks are going to melt in hot cars because we set it at 55 degrees. Now the bottom incubator this is about the size of a standard bar fridge. This one we set to 40 degrees because we are in Queensland in Australia we do stability test under tropical conditions so 40 degrees incubator represents plus 10 degrees of a 30 degree climate. We can also test European products in this. The 40 degrees then represents either plus 15 or plus 20 degrees for a European climate. So it's an accelerated stability testing chamber. If you're a small brand, you could get an incubator that is set to 40 degrees in this size and an incubator set at 55 degrees, the size of a microwave. And you will find that there's still plenty of storage space for those size incubators for small brands and they're also very, very economical. Let me show you just how much size and space there is inside these two incubators so you can get an idea if you were to get incubators half this size, you would still have plenty of room as a small brand. So first we're looking in the smaller incubator and you can see there's plenty of room. We can fit more samples on the bottom as well as that shelf. So you could get an incubator half this size, about the size of a standard microwave, and it's gonna be plenty of room for a small brand. Now this one here, this is our bigger incubator. We set this one to 40 degrees. This is about the size of a bar fridge, and you can see there's heaps of room in this incubator. We can even use the bottom shelf, uh, which we haven't set up at the moment. We haven't needed to, but plenty of room. So if you're a small brand, you could easily get away with the incubator that we have at the top here, set that one to 40 degrees, and then get yourself a smaller one about the size of a microwave and set that one to 55 degrees. So there you go, that's our incubators. Now of course, if you want information on stability testing, we have our stability testing introductory video as well. And if you do wanna conduct your own stability testing, please contact us, we provide full training on stability programs and protocols. And of course, we can run your stability testing here as well if you require it. But the incubators do represent a good quality investment. They're not too hideously expensive and they do mean that then you can conduct stability trials for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.